Today, we're tapping into VO 3.1, the newest update from Google that brings richer audio, tighter prompt control, and more realistic details. With this version, you can give the model a starting image and an ending image, and VO will generate a smooth animation that connects them. This means you can automate an entire range of creative projects, from product ads, logo morphing animations, smooth camera transitions, to storytelling sequences. Let me show you a quick demo. Here, we have a simple example created for a furniture store. I'll use one image for the first frame and another for the last frame. And with a single prompt, we'll generate a clean natural animation between them. Now I'll show you how I set everything up using Airtable and N8N so you can build your own automated animation system without ever opening a video editor. Before we jump into the Airtable setup, let me make something clear. This automation is available in both the paid community and the free community. Inside the paid community, you also get full support for all automations. At the moment, we have 45 automations available, and that's one of the biggest numbers of active automations you'll find in any school community. Now let's break it down step by step. This is the Airtable setup. The first column is prompt. This is a long text field where you describe exactly how the animation should happen. Here, you can include the movement, style, camera angle, or any other detail for the VO 3.1 model. The second column is status. This is a single select field with values like processing or done. It tells you whether the automation is still running or if the video is ready. Then we have image one and image two. These are attachment fields. Here, you upload the reference images, the starting frame and the ending frame. These two images are what the animation will be built on. Next, we have duration, audio, and resolution. Duration is a single select field where you can choose how long the final video should be. For example, eight seconds. Audio is also a single select field where you can pick true or false depending on whether you want the generated audio included. Resolution is another single select field where you choose between 720p or 1080p. Finally, there's the final video column. This is an attachment field that will be updated automatically by the workflow once the video is generated. You'll see the final clip right here without uploading anything manually. This setup keeps everything organized and makes it easy to manage multiple animations at once. Before we continue with the workflow, if you find this useful, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. It really helps the content reach more people. And if I see that you enjoy this type of tutorial, I'll release more free automations here as well. Now let's move on to the N8N workflow. The first note is the trigger. It starts the workflow with just one click. The second node sets the API key for VO3. This is where you paste your personal API key from fal.ai so the workflow can connect and send requests securely. The third node searches Airtable for the records that need to be processed. Here, make sure to add a filter so the automation only runs on selected rows. This step is important because you don't want to process everything at once. The fourth node sends the request to the VO3 API to generate the animation based on the images and prompt you provided. Then we wait around three minutes to give the model enough time to render the video. The next node retrieves the final video file from the API. And the last node updates the Airtable record with the final video link. So everything stays clean and organized in one place. Now, let me show you two more examples. The first one is a smooth transition between two images, creating a clean cinematic movement. The second one is a logo morphing animation, where the first logo transforms beautifully into the second one. This automation is available in the paid community, 
where you'll also get full support if you want to build and customize your own workflows. It's also available in the free community, inside the classroom area. This is a great starting point if you want to generate high-quality animations automatically, without ever opening a video editor.